Yo YouTube. Send it in NeanderthalFitness.com NeanderthalFit.com NeanderthalFitness um, There is now a link on my channel if you go to the home page of the channel to my website so a quick shout out to that NeanderthalFit.com you can find out about all the training services I provide there will be a blog set up there soon so not only will you have the vlog video information I'll also be hitting you up with some written articles as well so anything you want to see let me know. Um, so today's video is all about the amount of cardiovascular exercise that is needed specifically running to improve your ability to run so to be able to run faster, further, better and look less like a fucking vegetable <laughs> when you get on the uh, you know when, when you're going out chasing your kids up and down the garden or going for a run with the hot girl you met at the park, whatever your reasons may be, um, I have the answers here. So the kind of the thing that I want to address here is training frequency needs to be only very small. Now a lot of people when they start exercising, whether that be a resistance, a weight style thing, or if it's running, um, or anything else in between, swimming, whatever, people tend to get really enthused about the idea and they think yeah I want to be super fit I want to reverse years of a sedentary lifestyle in a couple of weeks and so to that end I'm going to work out six seven times a week smash myself into the ground and expect to get the results uh, that you know someone who's been training for years has have their body have their abilities truth be told that will not happen um, for the majority of those people who throw themselves in wholeheartedly and do six, seven training sessions a week um, or even train more than once a day in some instances, uh, they will burn themselves out. So they may do it for two weeks, they may do it for four weeks, they may do it for six weeks, but after an amount of time, I guarantee you 90% of those people, even if it's as much as three months or more, they will give up because you will do it and you will do it and you will drill it and drill it and the results won't come as quickly as you expect them to even if you're working out that much and you will either get burnt out i.e. you're too tired to keep doing it you overtrain and things start going backwards like your lifts get smaller you can't run as far you'll have a bad day where you can't run as far even and these things will throw you off or you'll have a night out you can't miss a birthday or a friend's leaving due from work something that will make you miss a session and once you miss one you will miss more it's just the way it works it's the best plan in the world only works if you do it so doing the worst plan in the world for three years as long as you are doing something you are exercising on the set days you've set yourself for three years you'll get much better results than the guy who does the best program designed by the best Olympic coach or whatever it may be uh, who trains six days a week but only does it for two months, three months. Without question, the guy who trains for three years will look better, will feel better, will perform better at the end of that time frame. So, let's uh, try and keep this relatively snappy. What am I trying to say? I'm trying to say I have been working with my brother. Um, he really wants to run a good distance and um, I've told you about the runs before um, how I normally paced him and unfortunately he beat me a little while ago on a, a bad day of mine a day when I was down but it hasn't put me off I still keep working out but um, essentially we've been working together to improve his ability to run um, improve his speed his distance and so when we started um, the first run out of the gate he managed maybe 200 yards, 300 yards, and then had to stop to catch his breath. Probably we did a, a three kilometer distance, and he probably walked, you know, two thirds of that, um, ran sporadically, like ran like three times for short distances, and then had to stop to catch his breath or to walk or whatever. He was very unfit at the start of this, um, and we proceeded to train one time a week so we would go for one run stuck to the same distance so we'd always we have this running track that we used um, it'd be three kilometers thereabouts and we would try and improve our time each week so the same day every week every Sunday we'd go down there do a run 
Obviously there's some friendly competition from having a training partner, someone you can run with, someone you want to best. Uh, but it, in general, what has happened is over the course of maybe a month and a half, two months, um, he went from a couple of hundred yards to being able to run the whole distance without stopping. Not at a world record speed, I will grant you, but that is undeniable, measurable progress. To be able to say, when I started this two months ago, I could not run a mile. I couldn't run a kilometre. I could barely run to the end of the street to catch the bus if I had to, uh, without being out of breath and having to stop. And now I can run three kilometres, um, you know, and I can just, I can do that. I can put my head down, yeah, it may hurt, yeah, I may struggle um, with breathing, etc. Because it's exercise. It's never going to feel like a walk in the park because it isn't but he can now do that and so in a short space of time running just once a week one running session a week any other exercise basically null and void small amount of resistance but largely nothing one session a week and he increased from basically no distance at all from a completely novice runner couldn't run to three kilometers in a respectable about 19 and a half 20 minutes um, you know if he keeps to that same training plan, he could be hitting the 5k mark in a month, two months. Could realistically go from training just once a week, one time, one run, which takes, what, 40 minutes to an hour when you start. Um, you know, this one session, he could go from that in six months from when he started to running in a 5k race and, and placing a respectable time. And that's not something to be you know, booed or hissed at. That's pretty good. Um, and obviously you could keep building up to 10K. So kind of the moral of the story is a small amount of exercise. It's like my video, the two minute workout that will change your life or something along those lines. A very small amount of change from sedentary to slightly mobile or doing a small amount of exercise can make a massive change. Uh, to the way you feel and to your abilities and the way you look. So, you know, if you don't have the time to work out three, four times a week, but you'd still like to be able to put a respectable time down at the next race for life or whatever it may be you want to take part in, then run just once a week. Pick a distance, 1K, 2K, 3K, 4K, 5K, whatever you want. Build up to it. Obviously, once you surpass it, increase the speed and then increase the distance. But just once a week, train just once a week if you do nothing else. So if you take nothing away from any of my videos so far, take that. One training session a week is enough to make big changes to your fitness. This is talking about running, but I have no doubt if you did the same thing with the resistance exercise, you would see good gains in one session a week. So it doesn't have to be a marathon five day a week split. That's it. That's all I have. Peace.